everybody, it's your boy Nautical. Welcome back to Destiny. We're about to try to find out what the new meta is. Today's weapon's gonna be the Hawk Moon. Man, this was a powerhouse in year one. We never even saw what it was like on Xbox because we didn't have it. Rip. But no, guys, this gun has accurate ballistics, field choke. Aggressive ballistics. We're going with field show for more range and more impact, less recoil. We're going with luck in the chain, but one random bullet in the magazine causes a considerable more damage. We also got hammer force for improved range and accuracy, but it does come with quick draw and speed reload. And then this is the exotic perk, holding aces. Two more random bullets in your magazine deal considerable more damage. This is amazing just two taps all over the place and we also have the moon glow ornament on it where it lights up into a ball of fire around the feathers as the lucky rounds hit and we also um we don't have this one but this is what the other one looks like so they're both pretty badass so let's go into the crucible let's go check and see how this gun actually performs and i will see you guys there stalk thy prey and let loose thy talons upon the darkness that is the flavor text that will come across the Hawk Moons card when you first read it. This hand cannon has come across a couple of iterations since its glory days in year one when it was by far the best hand cannon that you could get in um, Destiny. It was only available on the PlayStation platform but made its uh, debut on the Xbox One platform one year later as its former self. Nowhere near the darling it was when it first came out to the Xbox One when it was on PlayStation. But let's go over the stats anyways. It has a rate of fire of 22, an impact of 81, a range all the way up to 47 max, stability of 46 max, reload is a 46 max, and just the thing that makes this gun shine is the fact that it's the only hand cannon that can roll with three lucky in the chamber rounds in it. And it just, it's, it's a two tapping machine. It's amazing at um, close quarter combat, you you know most people don't like the fact that it has rng bullets inside of it but honestly that's that's what makes the gun fun to me you never know when that is going to proc and you don't know when you're just going to lay waste to somebody really quick um when it comes to this gun in engagements overall you can't use it at the extreme raises like you can use this little brother the is luna that has a little bit more range on it. Even a vendor palindrome can outshoot it. Um, the only way you'll really consistently, not even really consistently, because it's all based in RNG, but the only way you're gonna win those engagements on a consistent basis is if you're always procking those luck in the chamber rounds when it comes, because this gun has three, and most of those guns can only, those guns can only roll one, and that is the deciding factor. But in most people's eyes, they will take the consistency of longer range, same re and, and a little bit better recoil pattern um, than this gun has. I will say that this gun is really, really good if you're in the mid to close range because you can definitely take advantage of those luck in the chamber rounds and it also is very very well paired with a paired with a shotgun and it's also paired well with a sidearm um what i will see myself doing is even if i'm in an engagement and i you know turn the corner with a shotgun usually that person's gonna die but with the new nerfs to uh, special ammo sidearms are going to be even more prevalent so if you get one shot off try to clean them up with the sidearm as long as you can get that one critical hit or even a body hit by that way most people don't realize that nobody in this game really has special after the first minute or so in the game because everybody's already died and everybody's reset so use this gun as a support row this gun is excellent at cleaning up messes that either you leave behind or other people leave behind too um, you'll find yourself in a lot of situations where you're just cleaning up other people's messes and that's something that this gun is really really good at in other words um, it also is very well paired with a sniper rifle um, if you can um, get off a really quick shot you know body shots are not the best thing in destiny everybody grims at them but hey having if you snapshot to somebody take a body shot why not finish them off with the is luna you can switch over to a real quick and just pop one right into them and then they're dead you know this gun is very very good in that regard um outside of that it has very very good recoil control i think it's it's not as good as some other hand cannons but this is still very very manageable 
um, you definitely still have to pace your shots. You just definitely have to be aware of your surroundings when you're using this gun, just because um, it is a hand cannon and you are punished, significantly punished, if you're missing your shots. You need to be landing precision shots with this gun. This gun is only gonna benefit you if you're doing that, and if you're not, you're not gonna survive. Well, with that being said, guys, I appreciate you sticking by this video. Hope you guys like it, and nice. hope you guys like the new layout and the new way that I formulated so you guys can enjoy it. You guys have a good day. Peace.